The city of Verona lies midway between Milan and Venice in northern Italy. In medieval times, the Montague and Capulet families were mortal enemies, a situation on which Shakespeare based his famous play Romeo and Juliet. The old part of the city still stands today with high walls hemmed in and protected on three sides by a huge U-turn in a wide river. Many of the buildings were massive and had survived the wear and tear of centuries almost intact. <laughs> The amphitheatre, built in the first century AD, is now Verona's opera house and can seat 20,000 people. Of the outside wall, only one section is still standing. The rest was destroyed by an earthquake. I bought a ticket for that night's opera. The other main attraction of Verona is the Capulet House, Juliet's home, with its famous balcony on which a succession of women tourists, old and young, show themselves, reenacting Juliet's waiting for her lover Romeo. In the courtyard below, there is a statue of Juliet, and if you are wanting a new lover, to stand beside Juliet's statue and to touch a certain part of her anatomy is said to guarantee success. In the central square of Verona, there is a market. There are souvenirs to take back home, but good architecture to enjoy as well. Back at my hotel for dinner, I was startled to see it pouring with rain. Not good news for the open-air opera due to start at 9pm. However, the rain stopped. The opera was ready to begin. I was way up in the gods, but what a wonderful place to be. The orchestra was in place and so were the audience. Anina, Stefana Kibanova, Alfredo Germont, Roberta Ronica. Signore e signori, lo spettacolo avrà inizio tra pochi minuti.